Hello, welcome to my time tunnel. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day as always. Well, today on the tunnel, we're doing a little old school Atari. And we're not playing on the old 13 inch this time. We're playing on that little 5 inch series. I think. Let's get into it. Alrighty, and here we go with the little SR3000. Ah, now the funny thing about SR3000 and Sears, they seem to use this model name on all sorts of things from, oh geez, record players, uh, TV sets, um, combo units like this. Um, some of the other 3000s, now you can see the TV setter over here, and uh, combo stuff and world bands and all that kind of stuff. Um, you'll find some of them where this is all located down here and it's more of a different unit, boxier unit, or a bigger screen, sometimes color screen. This one's an old 1984 black and white SR3000. Um, they all say SR3000, so it's kind of hard to, unless you pull out the serial numbers and check out all the serials. Um, I got it hooked up to the Atari just to make sure it'd work um, through the old uh, antennas, and it sure does. Um, matter of fact, I'll try to get it to work on some modern TV later. I got a few uh, hookups I'm going to try with it. But um, we got MASH up there. And we're going to play a little MASH on it. And see how that plays with the old combo set. Anyways, this was a local dumped, dumped in the trash kind of thing. Um, I didn't find it. My friend actually works for the local uh, uh, garbage company and uh, drives the garbage truck. And said he found this and said oh I bet uh, the time tunnel would want it so of course <laughs> but um he didn't even know if it worked we tried it there and it actually turned on but we didn't know anything from that but this is the first time it's actually worked for any amount of time um, I got it plugged in got it all hooked up to the Atari's I'll try to hook it up to some other things like I said later and see how it goes but so far it's got a pretty good screen um, not sure if it's coming out because it's hard to record. Everybody knows uh, CRTs, especially some of these little ones, um, with uh, any kind of a device, unless you can uh, really change the frame rate and know exactly how to match each set. Let's see, it's not so bad on this one. So, anyways, yeah, let's see if it can play. Um, it looks pretty good, actually. It's looking really good on the old uh, CRT. Let's see how it plays. Oh, that tank ain't playing no games. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Better get some people. Hey, I was with them in there. <laughs> Alright, and that's a little gaming on the SR3000 from Sears. Not a bad little set. Um, little 5 inch black and white. Uh, that is 5 inch from here to here. So, um, it's not a bad little set. It works really good so far. Uh, big thanks to my buddy for um, dropping it off and just giving it to me. Um, and thinking about me when he's seen it. <laughs> oh, gotta love that. Um, I'm gonna mess around with it and see if I can get some a um, little bit more modern stuff to work with it, like uh, digital TV and stuff. I'm sure I can. I got the right hookup. So um, I'm gonna mess around with that and see if I can get that all to work and uh, maybe some other games on it. So more five-inch gaming to come. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.